In this video, I'm going to show you how I like to cut long rectangles from a roll of wrapping paper. I'll be using my cutting knife and cutting mat because that's the way I like to cut paper and a ruler, very important, and something long with a straight edge. Now, to cut this long rectangle, the first thing you need is a roll of wrapping paper that has a 90 degree angle and a straight edge throughout. If you buy a new roll of paper, you will have that already, but if you've previously used the roll and just cut with your scissors like that, it's not going to be perfectly straight anymore. So I'm going to quickly show you how to get a straight edge. First, we're going to unroll a bit of that paper and put something heavy on there so that it doesn't roll up too badly, like that. And then what you want to do is you want to concentrate on this edge. This is going to be a perfectly straight edge. So if you fold this in a bit and then you align the edge onto itself, you will get a 90 degree angle. And try to be very precise here so that it's as close to perfect as possible. And when you have that started, you then move over always just a small section pulling the paper flush and then adding the crease. And then pulling the paper flush and adding the crease. And continue like that until you reach the end of the roll. And usually, if you've worked quite precisely, then these edges should line up again. And then you can just finish that and then you can cut this off with your favorite method. For example, I have this nifty envelope opener and I'll put some links in the description area on where you can buy those online. So I'm just going to quickly cut, but of course you can use something else to cut that strip off. So now we have a nice straight edge and now let's suppose that I want a strip that is 10 centimeters or 4 inches high. So I'm going to check, you know, how long my ruler is. And I could cut this in just two sections, but I'm going to go for three just to show you the technique a bit more closely. So I'm going to mark one, two, three, four places with these 10 centimeters or at least approximately 10 centimeters. Uh, first here, and then somewhere around here should be fine. And here I try to align my ruler so that it's in a 90 degree angle, but it's not going to be perfect, and that's fine, because I'm going to double check my measuring in a second while I'm cutting. Okay, so now that I have my measurements, I now need to take my cutting mat and my cutting knife. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to actually turn this over. I think that's a little easier. And put that cutting mat underneath. So now what I like to do is I always measure twice, cut once. And that's a very good rule to follow. So I'm going to put down my ruler, my long ruler for the cutting and ensure that both of my markings are kind of on that cutting mat so I can cut later. And I'm going to align them with these tick marks. And let me just get that out of the way. And whenever something rolls up and it's hindering you, just put something heavy there. Now, what's important is to measure a second time. So here I'm going to put my ruler flush onto that ruler right here, so that I get a perfect 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to check whether this is 10 centimeters. And I'm going to check again right here. And I can see that on this side, it was just a tiny bit too much. So I'm moving it over just a little bit. And now 
even more, like that. And because I moved the ruler, I need to double check the other side again too. And this looks great now. And now I can start cutting. So I always cut just in small bursts. So I'm going to start right here and cut only where I'm holding down my ruler and you will see that I'm really applying pressure here so that the ruler doesn't move. And then again that small burst and then I need to fasten that paper down so that it doesn't slip and cut the last bit. And now I have this and then I can move over to the next section. And again, I'm going to use the same technique as before. And this is not heavy enough, but I think that is, yes. And again, align, ensure that this is on the mat. I can feel it is. Align this part. And then again, measure. This is perfect, of course, as I just measured that before. And then here, this time around, I'm actually spot on, so I can continue cutting. Just where my hand is, like that. And then just a tiny part farther, like that. And then we can move on to the last section. And again, as before, you'll know it by now, align with those markings we did and then check. This looks great. And this is just a tiny bit too much. But this is perfect now. And now we can again cut and cut. And then we can get all of this out of the way. We have our strip and of course we need to double check. So here you can see this is just a tiny bit over 10 centimeters or 4 inches about. And on this side, it's just a tiny bit over 10 centimeters or 4 inches. So this is a really nice accuracy for such a long rectangle. If the length isn't quite right, you can measure that out too. I'd measure on this side and that side and then make a cut and then have the correct length. Now, if you're interested in more origami technique videos, check out my playlist for that. Or fold along to one of my tutorials for origami models folded from long rectangles. Finally, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next videos. I hope to see you around and as always, happy folding!